Welcome, Wargamers, to another Mid Sussex YouTube video. <laughs> You're here with your channel host, Tom. And Sam. Uh, yeah, I'm not letting you do that again. That wasn't very good. Wasn't <laughs> anyway. Um, yes. Hello. We are back. Tom is back. I'm back. Hooray. Yeah. Did, quick question before yes. we get on to the important things. Okay. Did, you, did you watch the uh, battle report me and George filmed the other day? I did. He says convincingly. I can't remember who won. <laughs> That's because nobody won. It was a draw. It was a draw. Ah, was it? Well done. Well, I know it's a Harad and a Hunter Orcs. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. That's all I play now. <laughs> anyway, moving on, on to the more important things. Uh, this is a little video to basically announce our upcoming Hobbit event, yeah. which is on the 15th of March at the Dorset Arms pub in East Grinstead. Yes. Um, hang on. I've lost it, my iPad's turned <laughs> off. Um, so yeah, this will be our fourth Hobbit event. Mm. We, no, it might be more. Yeah, but this, yeah. This, this will be our fourth event as Mid-Sussex. Yes. Um, should be very, very good. First of 2015. First, first of three in 2015. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to run you through the rules pack. The rules pack has been up online on the event page on the GBHL and on the, our Facebook page. Um, if you haven't seen it already, go check it out. Um, so yeah, I think we will start with points. Yeah. Um, Tom, what are the As points values? before, if you've been to a previous event, we're doing the 750 points with 250 points have to be in the two most expensive. Yeah. Yeah, so if you've been to one of our events before, you, you should expect this by now. Um, we like to have big toys. Yeah. Um, there is also, as always, a minimum of four models because yeah. I like that rule. Um, so yeah, two hundred fifty points. You basically your two most expensive models have to be two hundred fifty points or more. You know, we we worked out you can take Smaug to this event. You can have Smaug and a couple of Felwarks, hey. and then just hide the Felwarks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty similar. You know. Everyone, everyone knows that. We've, we've had good feedback for that, so we decided to keep it. To in. see some interesting heroes. And yeah, it's always good to see that you know the the icons. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping maybe now we've got these big Hobbit heroes, we'll see you know New Thorin, yeah. Dwalin, Bard, Bard with Wind Lance. I'm sure we'll see some Dwalin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll see a lot of Dwalin. Actually, on on those Thorin's notes, if you're going to take the Champions of Erebor, it would be preferable if you had the Champions of Erebor models. Uh, there was a big discussion about WYSIWYG mm. yeah. and whatnot on the Facebook page. Um, yeah. As a mid Sussex ruling, <laughs> if you want to use Champions of Erebor... They need to have armour, I think is the key. Point. Yeah. The, <laughs> and the correct weapons. Correct, correct weapons. Um, you know, I guess if you want to take Dwalin Champions of Erebor, the only non-champion of Errol Hall that might apply is Young, is young Dwalin with his two axes. Yeah. Because Dwalin can take two axes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. If you've got any questions, message myself or Tom and you know we'll talk it through and we'll approve it. They're both pretty reasonable. But yeah. I'll put that out there now because I know there was a, a big discussion. <laughs> Don't actually know the outcome, I stopped reading it. <laughs> um, so yeah, other than that, Fully painted, fully based, blah blah blah. Usual, usual stuff. Usual goodness. Um, yeah, uh, the scoring will be the same as last time. Yeah. Four for a win, one for a loss, two for a draw. Now I have said in the rules pack this can be strength of schedule as a tiebreaker. Got to try and figure out how to work that out. I don't know. <laughs> um, I may have to. I'll search internet. So it's how good your opponent is. That it, it, it's it's how yeah. So strength of schedule, from what I remember, is you get a score based on the calibre, you know, where your opponents finish. Mm -hmm. So if you win and you play the people who come second, third, fourth and fifth, you get your strength schedule is going to be very good because you've mm -hmm. played all the good players. Whereas if you win or if you play someone who come last, you know, you're not going to get a good strength, strength of schedule score. Yeah. Um, they use it a lot in X-Wing, um, so I'm sure I can find someone something who knows. there. <laughs> um, VPs, VPs scored. Apparently, that's what I wrote at some point. VP scored. VP scored. So not VP difference, just VP scored. Okay. Um, 
will be the second tiebreaker. And then if you need a third tiebreaker, then I'll figure something out today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not planning for three tiebreakers. Yeah. Maybe see how nice you are. Um, so what? Scenarios. Yes, scenarios. So how many games are we playing? We are playing five games. And how many scenarios are there? But this is the the new and yes, interesting new bit. part. There are eight scenarios, and they will be drawn randomly. So mm. Which five you will play? Yep. And well, because it's random, we don't know which one yeah. is going to come first. Um, <laughs> the, most most of the scenarios are the same. Yeah. So we've got the ever popular <laughs> Wargonation classic. Um, still going strong, Mr. Joe Horsfall's mm. custom scenario. Yeah. Um, I must admit I've adopted it. I do like that scenario. Uh, and then you've also got the six out of the blue source books mm-hmm. to the death, hold ground, reconnoiter, Eagle high, high ground. High ground is one more. Uh, Domination, was that there? Domination. Lord of Battle. You know, you know the six. The ones we, in the book. Yeah, we also got a new scenario. A new custom scenario. A new custom scenario. Made by... Uh, Chris Dan. Chris Dan. Mm-hmm. Made by Chris Dan and like Joe's Refined by me, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. Um, called Catch the Pigeon. Um, again, you, you might. <laughs> yeah, don't ask, <laughs> I don't know where the name came from. I'm imagining a great eagle painted in pigeon colours. <laughs> yeah, see, in hindsight, we should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> should have had a, an eagle in the middle. Unfortunately, no. There, there, there is no pigeon. Oh. No, no actual pigeon in the in in this scenario. I'm just going to scroll down to it. Um, so yeah, this is a new custom one. We're now I'm just gonna say we're still play testing this. So keep an eye on the Facebook page and on the Wolf Pack if I you know we're constantly updating subject to change. Yeah, it's we're ninety percent happy, but every time we play something we manage to break it and we're like, <laughs> yeah, we should probably change that. Um I have actually got to put a revision up at some point. I'm just waiting for Chris to kind of okay it. Yeah. Um so yeah, talk through organization, Tom. Wargonation. No, nope, not Wargonation, sorry. Everyone knows Wargonation. What are on that? Wargonation, exactly the same. Bring some Wargs. Yes, if, six. You, if you have six Fell Wargs, Wild Wargs. Warg Riders that are pinch. <laughs> yeah, um, if, if you've got them painted, yeah. bring them. You know, it saves me worrying about, um, you know, trying to source 50 odd Wargs. I've got it. Twelve. Yeah, I've, I've got twelve and two chieftains. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also, if you've got a chief or chieftain model, yeah. goth mob usually comes out to play <laughs> for that. Um, then yeah, that'd be that'd be appreciated. Obviously, if not, you know, we'll do our best to source them. Um, but yes, you will need to bring them just in case. I know it's not guaranteed to to play it, but mm-hmm. you know, we'll have to bring them just in case. Yeah. Um, so yeah, catch the pigeon. Catch Fire the away. pigeon. This is a new one to me. Have you not read this yet? <laughs> Oh, far okay. away. Uh, so, shall I read the fluff? Yeah, go on, read the fluff. Read that long paragraph <laughs> of fluff that's sitting there. As the battle lines clash, the opposing commanders urgently blah, 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 fluff, fluff, fluff. Yep. So that's the fluff out the way. That's the fluff. I got bored. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's got any good fluff for Cash or Pigeon, send it to me, I'll put it in. Yeah. I'll give you 1% of credit. So, before your deployment, one of your infantry men yes. on a 25mm base. Uh, so not a warg because they could they're infantry and you could, yeah but. yeah that was one thing very quickly yeah. that we realised that people just take wargs or bats that's a, yeah spiders so twenty five mil base yep uh, to be the messenger pigeon I don't know why they're a pigeon <laughs> just messenger would do yeah we we, c- we couldn't think of a good name Catch mark the pigeon. <laughs> mark this model with a piece of blue tack or something else yeah. You've missed out, that, cool. missed out that middle line there, that very important ah, line. And they may not be a hero or monster. Yes, I do not want Boromir <laughs> going, oh, I'm the messenger. So it's got, get to, me. got to be a warrior. Or the undying. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, it must be a warrior. Um, uh, go on. Okay. And then, so it's normal deployment? No. No? No, it's Caesar Prize deployment. Caesar Prize deployment. Oh, okay. So it's 12, inch, 12 inches on from the edge mm-hmm. rather than 12 inches from the edge. Yeah, okay. Um, and basically, so start 24 base. apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the objective is blah, blah, blah. Basically, to kill the enemy messenger. Yes, it's all about the messenger. All about the one guy. All about the pigeon. All about the pigeon. Yeah. Catch them. Catch them. Uh, Catch so them, <laughs> kill them. 
<laughs> to take their message. Six points for killing the enemy messenger first. Yep. Three for killing the enemy messenger second. Yep. So obviously, so, what, so it's going to be two. Yeah. Because so each side will have a messenger. Yeah. And to say I killed your messenger, I would you get six. six. Then if, if I kill yours, you only three. get three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then there is the usual breaking three. Three and one. You are not broken. Yeah. And one if bro both are broken. Uh, one for killing the enemy leader. And a new one is two victory points for getting your messenger off the opponent's table edge. Yeah. So they've got to go 36 uh, yeah, they've inches. Got, yeah. So they've it's going to take up. six turns at least. Yeah. And um, we didn't have this when we first started playing it. Hmm. Um, and we found that basically what happened is you know, the messenger, yeah. messenger <laughs> fight. Um, and, you know, it was often, you know, it was often two all. Because we both get broken, both the leaders would die, and it'd be like, right, well, that's, we need, you know, we need to encourage you to get the messengers I've off. Thought, I've thought of a question. Yeah, well, then question. Can you use the upgraded movement trish yes. types? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Marauders, marauders, um, not an exiles. It's a war as long as it's a warrior. Good option then. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good option. And also drums and rope marching. They're all good. yep, yep. Drums, rope marches. That's that's all fine. Uh -huh. um, as long as as long as the messenger itself is a warrior. Yeah. Um, on a twenty-five mil base, then that is fine. Okay, interesting. Well, I should um, say infantry more. So that's but then this scenario is not definitely coming up. No, it might as well. Um, and I know Ed did ask the question yeah. on the event page, basically saying, "What if you don't have an infantry model?" Yeah. The answer to that is you must have an infantry model. Mm -hmm. Or you have no pigeons. <laughs> well, no, it, it's it, the because you know it'd be it'd be quite. How am I going to word this? If you don't bring a messenger and your opponent does, then oh, you you, you basically advantage. start six nil up. Yeah. So going back to our restrictions, probably going to annoy a few people, <laughs> but you must have a warrior. I mean, you, you could, could still take all mounted and dismount a guy. Yeah, but obviously you can't be a hero. Hmm. So all hero, you know, you're gonna have an all hero army, then a warrior. Yeah. So I've got a horse. Yeah. <laughs> take one guy. Um, yeah, and I know it's not gonna come up. It might not come up. <laughs> I'm hoping it will. You know, yeah. I'm putting a lot of effort <laughs> into writing this. Um, so yeah, th there there must be a there must be a warrior in your army. Yeah. Um, most armies do. Yeah, have. most armies are going to have it. 750 points. Or at mean, least one hero can you, take one warrior. Yeah, there's going to be a hero that can lead a warrior. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're planning on taking um, Arab or Reclaimed, then <laughs> that'll be a pain in the backside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't lead any warriors. Mm. But of course, everything will come to it. But yes, for now, um, yeah, you need a warrior. Sorry, all mounted car beasts. We have to take an orc tracker. Oh, nice. I yeah. like orc trackers. <laughs> yeah. Drop a will point or. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Uh, so. That's the basic so, scoring yeah. of the game. Yeah, so that's, that's all the objectives. Just run us through the. And it will also end at 25% or when the messenger leaves one Easy. end of the table. Yeah. So, so you can get a quick 2 0, maybe. You can get a quick 2 0. <laughs> I'll go out. That would, I'm not quite. That'd be tricky. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and, oh, I'm just going to add. To, I will need to add. It's, it ends the end the, at the end of the turn when a messenger's mm -hmm. gone off. Yeah. If you don't go, he's off. Right, game okay. over. Because okay. that'd be quite unfair. It's at the end of the turn, and it, it doesn't say in the rules pack. And that's at least seven turns. Yeah, but I will put it in the rules pack for all those people who are out there and go. Ah, 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 it doesn't say. Oh, and have we also said the game time? Uh, one hour forty-five. One hour forty-five. But uh, as each one. For each game, yep. Yeah. Uh, as it was last year, and it's on a Sunday, so we shouldn't get kicked out early. Yes. We, all <laughs> games should go to time. Mm -hmm. um, and there are some special There's rules. Two quite important special rules. If you do rules. the top and bottom one, because that middle one's got a little bit added to it. Okay. So the messenger knows his message is important. And this rule's called the messenger pigeon, by the way. Ah, he will not. He's not willing to take any risks. No. So he won't charge terrifying enemies. 
No. Which you probably wouldn't do anyway because you get killed. Want to, it's more of a fluff rule. Because, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I guess if you're winning and you're confident, you might throw them in. Mm. And that would include if you have Fury on, they still can't <laughs> do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If any, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's a good point. We, I need a bit of pen and paper. <laughs> right. We'll, <laughs> Remember that, I'll put that in. So yeah, even if you've got Fury, the you messenger will it. never it's ever charge something yeah. terrifying. Well, you know, why would you charge a troll when you've got to try and get a message off? Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you do... Uh, and another one is... Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the general wants to retrieve a message to get across the board. So the message may not be passed to another model. So he's entrusted one of his men with it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not a piece of paper. It's mm. like a, a verbal, verbal message. message. Uh -huh. Quick, get help. Yeah. That sort of message. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, you know, it's not like a ring of power. They're taking or, the hobbits to Isengard, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if your messenger dies, that's it. You know, <laughs> you can't get him back. Uh, and the third special rule is called intercept the message. Um, this is the one, this, this is actually... Hopefully by the time this goes up, I'll have put a revision on, or shortly after. Okay. Um, so basically, this special rule basically prevents you killing the messenger with shooting or magic powers. Yeah. Um, just for the fact that Legolas Otherwise would just go, yeah. and it'd be 6-0 first turn. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't kill him with a shooting attack or with a magical attack, so Sorcerer's Blast, mm -hmm. Black Dart, um, Chill Soul-ish. Yeah. Um, but what, what what we have found through playtesting is that you know you throw people at him. Yeah, I'm coming on. No, 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 I'm coming on to it. So, <laughs> um, you know, there's a new bit of this special which basically means you know he can be targeted by in, um, magical spells that don't cause damage. So, um, transfix, immobilize, command, um, any other ones. But you, can you blast someone into him? Onto it. Mm -hmm. um, if he is killed by um, an indirect form of magic yeah. or by a hurl, so blasts, channel chill soul, mm -hmm. channel nature's wrath, a hurl, yeah. um, then he will die, but you won't get the VP to killing him. Oh. So, say you blast an orc yeah. into your orc banner, which is the messenger, mm -hmm. and the banner dies, you wouldn't get the six for killing him. Um, yeah, and then I would still get six if I kill yours, if, you, yeah. if that makes sense. So basically, if you if you kill him indirectly, so you don't want to kill him indirectly. Yeah, so you don't want to you don't want to hurt anything at him. Mm. You know, obviously, it might it might be you, know, you might want to channel chill soul, and that's where he is. Yeah, but yeah, he, he can be killed indirectly by magic or by hurling because we played one game where that didn't happen. And he basically had this indestructible warrior to hurls, you know, the troll would hurl down the line. He'd be like, nope, I'm fine. <laughs> it's just standing. But you think, actually, you know, the troll, troll ain't going to care. Eagle ain't going to care. It's going to hurl. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that will be in the, in, the, in the new rules pack, hopefully. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, that, that's Catch the Pigeon. Um, it's kind of like Seize the Prize, but a bit more fair on... It's kind of like seize the prize, where the prize is running away. Yeah. <laughs> um, Each side has a prize, which is good. Yeah, or, or it's more escort your prize off the board. Yeah. Um, and you know, if you can, there's there's quite a lot of VPs on on offer here. Um, obviously, if you kill each other's, I think if you kill the messenger first, you're in good stead. You know, you have to royally mess it up. Because um, the maximum you can get if you don't kill the messenger first is seven. Mm. But that involves you not being broken and killing the leader. Um, because obviously you can't get it off the board. Yeah. So yeah, it, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing that being played with lots yeah, of other people. And if people want to play fun. test it, you know, and send us feedback, um, queries, FAQs, you know, all that stuff, um, I'll be glad to have them. Send them to me on Facebook, Tom on Facebook, or the email address, which is midsussexwargamers at gmail.com. Send them there, I'll have a look at them. And or then post them on the event page. Or post them on the event page. I think Ed may even have some more questions.
questions. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get it up. Um, so slow. So I'm hoping, just while I'm, do you want to find the event page? I'll fill. Yeah. If you go into the GBHL, and then, well, yeah, you can figure it out. Um, so yeah, I think we're hoping to start about 9.30 again. Um, myself and Craig, who helped me run it, will be down on the Saturday evening at their upcoming events. Upcoming events, yeah. Battle of East Rivenstead. Oh yeah, that's the title. It's the Battle of East Rivenstead. Why is that the title? I have no idea. <laughs> it's actually the name of Craig's Battle Company. Oh. East, the Elves of East, East mm. Rivenstead, something like that. And I was like, <laughs> mm, why not? That. Yeah, uh, Ed, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, we've got we've answered Ed's question. That's fine. Yes, Ed, you must have a vision. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So yeah, po post them on the um, po post any questions on the event page, and I shall look at them and give you an answer. Um, yeah, let's go up to the itinerary. Yeah, let's go. There it is. Yeah. So the pub will open probably just after nine o'clock. Um, touching wood, boards will already be set up. Oh, yeah. Bearing one or two, because obviously Rick doesn't, Rick, Rick won't come down on the Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah, Ooh, we haven't even said when it is. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> the, at the start. <laughs> at the, yeah, this should be at the start. It's on the 15th of March. I think we might have said that, which is a Sunday. Sunday. Um, so free parking and no 40th birthday parties with discos, <laughs> DJs, and Sean times. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, nine o'clock, get there. You know, the earlier you get there, the sooner we can start. The less I have to stress about games being on time, um, and the more lenient they'll be in letting games overrun by a couple of minutes. Um, Are you doing dice down? Am I doing dice down? I haven't decided yet. I quite like the way Slayer do it. And you play to the end of turn? Uh, well, no, they they so probably not. It will be a one hour forty five, and at one hour forty five will be end of the turn. And then if we start falling majorly behind, then we'll see. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it was only diced down last time because it was on such a tight yeah. time limit. You know, to, on, you on that to Sunday, we'll have, we'll, it should be a little bit more relaxed um, because we've got it, or we bought have it for the whole day. Um, and it will also be one of, our, one of the first times we'd have been in the, new, in the pub after its refurb. Oh, it's currently so it closed. Nice. It should be nice. <laughs> Apparently they're putting in lights, <laughs> so we can play in the dark. We <laughs> turn the lights on. Can, yeah, <laughs> oh no, we can play when it's dark and still see what we're doing. Because I know that's been the um, that's the main the that's main that, problem. Yes, that has been a problem with with lighting. Um, so yeah, start start. start well, first game starts at nine thirty. Um, obviously hour hour and forty five, fifteen ish minute break. Um, what I will say, so on the day if you want drinks during the game. Call myself or Craig over, and yeah. we'll go down and get them. Um, is there going to be a bar upstairs? Um, there is one going to be one upstairs, but we have to pay more to get them to man that. Okay. Um, I think it'd be better if everyone link it, if you just shout me or Craig yeah. with an order. And Take we, a tray. And yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'd rather you guys play for an hour and forty-five. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're both happy to run down and get a beer, then go for it. But you know, as long as you know. Craig's usually wandering around, he'll sure be quite happy to um, you know, run down and place drinks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, 15-ish minute break, yeah, we could be a little bit more lenient. Uh, lunch will be about quarter past one. Um, when you buy, probably soon-ish, when, when the pub reopens in February, mm -hmm. I'll go and get a new menu. Yeah. And like always, I'll put up on the page, if you can let me have your food orders, then hopefully we'll get all the food out on time. Yeah. There's always some There's always more one. person <laughs> whose dish just gets lost yeah. in lost in the warp. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully it'll be mine because it doesn't matter if mine goes missing. Yeah, yeah. But I, I run, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, lunch. You know, we are lunch. We have to game two. Um, as we said, five games, um, and at the end we'll have the awards. Um, I'll pick one of you lucky people to draw the scenario. Out, I'll, I'll, I'll have a hat or something. A hat, yeah. A bowl. <laughs> or I might just have five cards face down. Um, yeah, you know, 
We're looking to finish if you're all on time, which I know you won't be. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's ever been a tournament other than maybe throwing us goals that's run on time. Um, about half seven. Mm. Which, you know, isn't too bad. Yeah. Um obviously if you need to leave then you can always scoot off. At the end of game five. At the end of game five. <laughs> if you haven't won. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yep, and also just another thing, this is uh, 100 um, league, league points yeah. for the GBHL. So if you win, you get 100 juicy points. Mm -hmm. Good start. So. Yeah. Yes. Um, prizes. Oh. oh. Do we have prizes? I have two prizes already. Oh, good. I have two books donated by Mr. Kieran Street. Oh, nice. Um, kind of related to the Lord of the Rings. They're, they're going to be like jokey raffle prizes. Okay. Um, one is kind of like a cartoony Lord of the Rings book yeah. uh, and the other one is like a history of fantasy that's entirely not to do about Lord of the Rings which basically means oh, that they yeah. it is but they can't because it's not okay. it's not um, mm. licensed so yeah the, when we do our prize unboxing I'll, um, I'll bring them down and we can show them mm -hmm. but yeah they'll either be wooden spoon or okay. raffle um, I haven't actually quite decided on the prizes yet there's I've got a couple of ideas let me know you know because this is a tournament for you guys I'll, I'll run these ideas by so yeah. what I'm thinking of uh, maybe first prize is Doran's map nice yeah um, not the official $350 prop replica <laughs> one but Doran's map a nice one yep yeah, yeah. from Weta <laughs> uh, I want to get Keeley's runestone okay um, that would be like a I'm tempted to make that the wooden spoon yeah. So you've got to promise to come back <laughs> you get and do better. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else was I thinking? I think that's as far as I got, actually. Keys? Or has someone else done that? No, Thailand's have done the keys. Yeah. The keys. Okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, but basically I'm going to raid wetter. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get another dagger. Yeah. There's a particular weapon anyone wants. I know, I know mm -hmm. Damien wants Tariel's dagger. <laughs> I'm tempted to get another one of them. Yeah. Um, trying to think what swords haven't been done. Cause I, know, I know we've done uh, Orcrist, yeah. Tariel's Dagger. Galandrin? No, I think Scotland did Galandrin oh, wow. and Sting. Mm -hmm. So maybe at Anduril. Yeah, okay. yeah, Anduril. Uh, Morgul Blade. Morgul Blade, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. It depends what I can find. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's going to be first place prize, second place prize, Windspoon. Most sporting, best army. Um, if War Nation comes up, then maybe I'll we'll put Wild Slayer in. And also, if the Wild Chief yeah, isn't Oop, War Chief. if the Wild Chief isn't Oop, <laughs> by then, then I'll, I might do a Wild Slayer. I'm trying to think if they want to do Cash the Pigeon. <laughs> pigeon model? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then that would be a proxy. Because it'd uh, be a pigeon <laughs> and a warrior. <laughs> 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 fired <laughs> um, yeah you know always open to suggestions for prizes if anyone's got any cool ideas that I can steal I mean borrow um, yeah, maybe a Chronicles book they're quite cool that's a good prize to take back I'd like that yeah I've got one of the Chronicles books and I'll get a couple of the other ones um, so yeah um, parking as always is free do you have to do the lunch thing as well or not and that's on when it's on Saturday. Yes. Ignore that. Yeah. No. The the um the car parking machine is very clear. Mm. It, it it if you put money in it on Sunday, it will take it and it'll give you a ticket. But you don't need, you don't need a ticket. Um, but if you do do it by mistake, keep the ticket and they'll yeah. give you a voucher. Uh, in the pub for food. Um, I'm thinking the food will be the same as last time. Yeah. It's, it hasn't it's really similar. changed. Um, trying to think of anything else not put in. Uh, we will be using the community FAQ. It's, I think it's important to stress that um, because there is some contradiction between the GW and the community. Yeah. Um, Hurling is. Yeah, yeah. and mobilising. Okay. So our first point of call, first point of call, mm -hmm. will be the community FAQ. Um, because as, uh, I know it's not 100% official, but obviously Simon has put a lot of time and effort into approving those, so that's you know we'll be using that. 
So like proper help. None of this picking up and throwing behind your rubbish. <laughs> yeah, none of this room or shielding while immobilised rubbish. Um, so yeah, I think, and you know, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Um, yeah. Will there be new board? Apologies for that brief cut. The uh, <laughs> iPhone ran out of memory. Mm. That's probably why the GBHL guys upgraded to a shiny camera. Yeah. But we're not that. We're not. We're, we're not that nice. No. Not nice. Well, we're, we're not that fortunate. Mm. Um, maybe if we get two thousand subscribers, we'll get a new camera. Deal. I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, you can buy it if we get two thousand. I think we're on like three. Not three. Even. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it must be more than three. Because I'm one of them. Yeah. Well, no, twenty. It's fine. As long as everyone watches the videos, it's, you know, we don't need subscribers. <laughs> don't subscribe. <laughs> no, do subscribe because then you get to know when these awesome videos come yeah. out, which is just us waffling for 45 <laughs> minutes. Uh, um, just trying to. I can't remember what we were doing. Uh, I think we'd, we'd just done parking. Yeah, so we'd just done parking and just done food. Um, boards, that's what we were doing. Oh. For this one, probably not. There might be a return with a couple of the like the, the barren ash boards because I can actually take those to club now. They can be stored. Because they can be stored there. Um, I'll have to ask Rick, see if he can bring the Minas Tirith board again. Um, and it's going to be 4x4 four four boards? 4x4 four four boards. That's a good point. I mentioned that. Yeah, 4x4. Four four. Um, any bigger, if we run out of space. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm not we haven't done. So the capacity currently, and I'm, I'm stressing currently because we don't know how much space we're going to gain yeah. from the refurb. It's 22 players. Um, as of right now, as of 17.26 on whatever day it is. Sunday. Sunday, the 8th, 9th. As of Sunday now, <laughs> um, I already have eight people signed up mm -hmm. and paid. Due to them being yeah. club. The, re the reason, it, yeah, is, um, it, you know, if you've read our blog or been to club, if you buy, if you bought, or if you buy a yearly membership yeah. to the club, which is now forty pounds, yeah. um, you basically get early access to all our events. Um, so they've had access from I think like middle of December. Yeah, um, I've had eight people sign up. So that is what fourteen spaces. 14, 13 spaces left. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, these are, th these are like golden tickets here. Yeah, they're very <laughs> limited. Um, and it is first come, it will first be first come, come, first serve. If you've said you're going on the event page, that doesn't, doesn't guarantee you a space because I have no idea when you said you was going. Mm. And obviously, I'd like to do it on who has paid. Well, uh, you know, if I if I could see who had said they were going first, mm. then I would offer them spaces out. Yeah, okay. um, so, tickets to all you lovely non-club members will go out on sale on the fifteenth of January, which okay. is a couple of days from now. Yeah. Thursday, I think. Thursday, Thursday Friday. Um, let's make it like a gig and say nine o'clock in the morning, <laughs> nine a.m. on the fifteenth of January. Tickets will go on sale. And I think it's just gonna have to be the first 13 people that send me 10 pounds. Yeah. Um, I think that's the only, the only fair way. Um, and then have a reserve list. Yeah, there will be a reserve list. I'm just in case. I'm hoping that we'll get enough space to get another eight people, up to 30 people. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, because at the minute, we, we can fit comfortably 12 boards in, mm. but we run 11 to give us lots of space. Yeah. So, 22 is, you know, that's our limit. Mm. If there's a lot of demand, <laughs> then I'll, I'll make up another two, mm -hmm. up to 24. But then we only need, so what's that, 10, yeah. 11 boards for 22 people. Mm. We only need another two boards, we only need 15 mm. boards to give us 30 people. Um, obviously, uh, you know. Hopefully there'll be one less wall to yes. another board in. Yeah, I can't remember if the manager said he was taken out of the bar area. Oh. That, you know, mm. um, it, you know, if if we got if we get a reserve list, then I will look at you know making more space because there is there is space there. Yeah. 
yeah. it would just have to be more space efficient. So instead of having lots of individual tables, the, the, you'll have a row of tables going that way, a row of tables going that way. Mm -hmm. um, so you might just have to get up and walk if you want yeah. to go around the tables. <laughs> um, which, you know, if we, you know, if the, if the demand's there, if 30, if 30 people want to come, then I'm sure we can make it work. Yeah. <laughs> might have to make some more <laughs> Yeah. I think we've got enough. Um, so yeah, 13 tickets left. Um, obviously, I won't play, I will be TOing. You're playing though, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, Tom, Tom has already bought his membership and paid, paid, for, <laughs> paid for a ticket. So yeah, although you're not number one on the list. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you who's number one on the list, Chris. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I said, oh, I should put this in the pack, you went, yeah, can I pay now? <laughs> Obviously, if any of you want to guarantee your ticket before the 15th, send, my member. send me £50 <laughs> and you can have early out, you can get your ticket now. Actually, no, I lie. 49 49 because a yearly membership grants you 10% off yeah. all our events across the year. Albert, X-Wing, 40k, mm -hmm. although not all of those may run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you send me £49, you can have your ticket now. And... Um, Guarantee yourself a spot. Uh, and you can come to East Grinstead on Sundays. You can right? come to East Grinstead on Sundays when it reopens on the 8th of February yeah. at 1 o'clock. Yeah. I won't be there because I'm not that good. <laughs> Tom will be there. I'll be there. Tom will be there with Hobbit and Imperial Assault and mm -hmm. something else, probably. Um, so, yeah, uh, PayPal email address is midsuskscoregamers at gmail.com. Um, if you could send it as a gift, so I get the full ten pounds, that'd be yeah. quite nice. I'm not naming any names, but a few of you have <laughs> sent it as a fee before. If I don't get all the money, I can't buy all these awesome prizes. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot, all the money we get in does tend to go on prizes. Yeah. So the, you know, the more money you give me, the better the, yeah, the, better the prizes. <laughs> um, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, we've had some good prizes in the past. I'd hate for that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's not reasonable for it to be a gift. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, ten pound if you're not a member, nine pound if you are a member. If you are a member, why haven't you bought your ticket yet? Mm. Um, yeah, because uh, there is a there's another event page on our on the Mitsu Six Facebook page. <laughs> I reckon there's going to be a few people who get confused and go, "Well, I, I, I joined this one, and didn't see anything on." If there's any updates, I'll post them on both, actually. Yeah. Just be... But yeah, like us on Facebook. Because then, you know, I, I put a lot of stuff on the, on our Facebook page. Yeah, Mid-Sussex Wargamers. Yeah, search Mid-Sussex Wargamers on Facebook. Um, so yeah, I think that... Ah, ah, there's something I just noticed. Ah, oh, army list. I would like your army lists in advance. Um, March the 10th is the deadline. Five days. Five days before. Um, either send it to me on Facebook or to the email address, yeah. which for the third time, if you haven't got it, <laughs> is midsussexwargamers at gmail.com. Um, and just m put it in the title that it's your mobile list for that. Mm -hmm. um, and I will check them, make sure they're legal, because that way, you know, with five days, if there's any discrepancies, yeah, you can um, I can, we, you know, we can sort it out. So I know there's been a couple of, t a couple of times on the day where an army list has turned mm -hmm. up and been illegal <laughs> but but to run around to people going have you got these figures because we need to make this army list legal <laughs> so yeah army lists to me or Tom but mainly yeah. to me because Tom will only forward them to me I won't read them Tom won't read them <laughs> um, Tom, Tom will you Tom will take them and he'll tailor his army to yours I'll do I'll put my army list in first yeah <laughs> it will be the fair thing to do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say you're not going to play everybody no um are we going to do a draw? We are going to do a draw. Yeah, yeah. Whether this is announced before or when when this is announced and whether I announce it is yet to be decided. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, a few people mentioned last time, was it the best of part two, that you know it had a bearing on their army list mm. because they knew who they were playing mm. and what at what scenario. Yeah. Um, and obviously we don't want that, you know, we want it, want it all to be fair, 
So what will probably happen is me and Tom will film a draw. After the army lists. Have Once all the army done. lists have been in. Okay. Um, well, we'll film it whenever. When yeah. everyone's confirmed. <laughs> but it won't be public. Public. It won't be yeah, we won't put it on the on the Facebook page until I've got all the army lists in the day before. We might not even tell you until you get there on the on the Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um because you know, we all like that. Yeah. You know? So yeah, you know, we might we might do a draw. We might film it just in case anyone thinks it's fixed and then <laughs> they can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Show you the names. Yeah. <laughs> or we could just do what we did in the first one. As you can see, we we really thought this through. Yeah. So we'll either do a draw or on the day you can just draw a table number out of a hat. Oh, yeah. Um and then that's what we you know. Go go over to table one and mm-hmm. wait for your opponent, wait for someone to, to also draw out table number one. Um so yeah, that is I think I think that's everything. Yeah. I'm sure as soon as we finish this there'll be oh I should have <laughs> said that. Mm. Um but yeah, you know, check out check out the, the Facebook the Facebook event page. Um or if you haven't got Facebook, send us an email. I can forward you the link to the event pack. Yeah. Um but yeah. I think that's I think we've covered ninety nine percent of all the bases. Yes. <laughs> um, it's getting close to dinner time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think we'll end this here. Um, we hope to see you all soon. Um, buy your ticket as buy, soon as yes, possible. Buy your ticket as soon as possible. Fifteenth of January, and there'll be exactly one month. I fully expect them to go. Yeah. On that day, <laughs> um, although they won't now. I've said that. <laughs> But yeah, any questions, queries, comment below, message me, message Tom. He won't read them. Send them <laughs> to me. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, so comment, like, share, subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And the rest. <laughs> and the rest, blah, blah, blah. Bye, Happy blah. strategy, battle gaming. Oh, I know it says hi. Mm. <laughs>